Hi, welcome to Pencil College. In chapter 3.1, we will be learning about the sum and product of roots. The lesson objectives for this video is, are as such. Firstly, we will learn how to state the sum and product of roots of a quadratic equation and then use them to evaluate expressions involving these roots. Next, we will learn how to form a new quadratic equation whose roots are related to the roots of the given equation. Okay, so first and foremost, let me show you how to derive okay, the form for our sum and product of roots. Recall that any quadratic equation can be written in this form, ax squared plus bx plus c equals to zero, where a, b, and c are constants. Dividing by a throughout the equation, I'll get x squared plus b over ax plus c over a. Okay? Okay, next, if I were to make an assumption over here, whereby I let alpha and beta be the roots of the equation, then I can safely say that the quadratic equation can be factorized into this form, x minus alpha min multiplied by x minus beta equals to zero. Now, why is this so? Recall that if I were to solve this equation, okay, I will simply get x equals to alpha or x equals to beta. And this coincides with the assumption that I've made, okay, which is that alpha and beta are the roots of the equation. Okay, so what I'm gonna do next is to factorize out, or sorry, or rather expand out this equation. So x times x will give me x squared minus alpha x minus beta x plus alpha beta equals to zero. Okay, factorizing the equation, I'll get this. And finally, let us compare the coefficients of equation number one and equation number two. Comparing coefficients, I realize that the coefficient of x, okay, is b over a. So therefore, comparing coefficients, b over a is equals to negative alpha plus beta. Therefore, my sum of roots, which is alpha plus beta, is simply negative b over a. So this is also known as the sum of roots. Okay, comparing the coefficients of the constant term, okay, I realize that c over a is equals to alpha beta. Okay, so I can also write as alpha beta equals to c over a, and this is known as the product of roots. Okay, for those of you who are feeling confused at this moment, don't worry, because you are not required to know how to prove this, you just need to know that the sum of roots is alpha plus beta, which is negative b over a. And you also need to know that the product of roots is alpha multiplied by beta, which is also c over a. Okay, so in summary, Okay, the general form of a quadratic equation can be written in this form. Okay, and this is the sum of roots, which is what we discussed over just now, which is alpha plus beta. And the product of roots is just alpha beta. Okay, so we'll be using this, uh, this uh, formulas okay, in the next few examples.